Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. Hmm. Interesting. Just kidding, we already did that. Thanks for the old info, buddy. We're out of here. 500 more gems. <laughs>
see, at least they made the gems move fast in this game, unlike uh, A Hero's Tale and Enter the Dragonfly, where things are just super sluggish. Alright, you know, we still need to go up higher to get to that stuff, so let's go to this cave over here, where there's some enemies, I guess, doing enemy-like things. Alright, you're dead. I wonder if this is going to give me one gem or multiple. Ooh, lots of money. That's actually a big chunk of change right there. I appreciate the uh, large sums of cashola. And we're over 400 gems now, not too shabby. And our second last dragon, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, there's that glitch where sometimes Sparks won't pick up a gem. That's like the biggest glitch in these games. Anyways, next dragon is Xander. Great work, Spyro! If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the Magic Crafters world. What tricks? All I did was glide over here. Or jump over here. I didn't even glide over here. I just jumped over here. Yeah, I hear you. If you want the achievement for this game too, or for this level in this game, then it's just flame these. That's, that's all it is. A lot of the achievements in this game are either the skill points or just something that you're most likely going to do when playing through the game because it's just habit. Oh, that blue gem almost fell off the edge of the world. Well, let's grab this guy before we deal with that egg thief with Kelvin. Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. God, he has such a derpy face. Hey, the thief ran away. No fair. Sound like he had already made it all the way around, too. That's, that's cheap. At least I can get all the gems while I'm at it. There we go. There's all 500 gems. Nice. Now we just have to go and nuke this uh, egg thief. Which, like I said before, they made the egg thieves a little more difficult to get than in the original for whatever reason. See, normally they slowly jump down, not continuously run down that slope. And I'm not, it's not even a slope, it's just a complete drop off. Come back here, you. Okay, that time he stopped, but it didn't really benefit me. You can kind of sort of cut corners here, but it's not really the most useful. Because he always gains speed in like certain sections. There we go. And 100% level complete. So now we can leave. A 7 minute level. Not bad. We should be able to finish 2 or 3 more levels in this episode. So that's pretty good. Hopefully the speedway is a one try take. So that way, you know, we can get it done really quickly. Anyways, there's another 500, so we'll be at 3,800 gems. Nice. Still got a long ways to go, but shouldn't be too bad. My only issue is that these enemies all respawn, so they kind of like get in your way again. I, I love how he's holding the, uh, the, the the little orb in his hand instead of an egg. Anyways, we're on to the high caves, which um. It's honestly my least favorite level here. It's not a bad level by any means, don't get me wrong. It was just... It's a little less interesting than the other levels, sadly. But it doesn't matter too much. Flame, flame, flame on, dude. Flame on all the way. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Jeez, what's with Spyro going into the stratosphere? Um... Alright, so we can't go that way, and you'll figure out why later on when I get to that point of the level. We actually want to go this way with these. Okay, these are. I believe the guys with the tornadoes are still druids, while these guys are wizards. Because for whatever reason, the druids and wizards hate each other. And also, fun fact in the original, it was impossible to avoid these tornadoes when, like, walking up here, like, beside them. But in this game, they made the pathway wider, so you can actually kind of cheese it. But before we get you, I do know for a fact that there are gems over here. And as a kid, this would always be the section that I'd forget. Kind of like remember where I showed you those two red gems were in Clifftown? 
yeah, that was another level that um, I'd always forget to go and get them. Even though I knew they were there, i just forget and then be like, oh, wait, yeah, they're over there. Anyways, our first dragon is Cyrus. Please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. Sure. I can uh, murder some druids if you want me to. The weirdest thing is when you flame them, it technically moves the platform back to where it's supposed to be, so it can be kind of jarring when you first land on them. Now, I do believe this is exactly where we need to be to get the skill point here, so see that? Yeah, you need to flame that. Um, if it lets me. There we go. Skill point. And every time you get a skill point, you get a life. Also, there's 500 gems again, only 3 dragons, but 2 eggs. And I believe the next level, outside of the speedway, also has 2 eggs. And then that's all the eggs in the game. Yeah, for whatever reason, there's no eggs beyond the Magicrafters world. Weird gimmick. But yeah, see, those things. They're metallic and can't be killed with your normal charge attacks, so that's why we didn't go that way, because otherwise we'd probably end up dead. Like, there's a good chance that you'll end up dead. Ooh, I hear lots of money. Oh yeah, look at all this money. Love seeing a ton of gems like that just get swooped up. Now, since we're here, we might also grab this dragon and see what he, who he is. It's Ajax. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that Supercharge makes you invincible. He's kind of cute, but I wouldn't consider him strong. He really doesn't look strong. Now, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go over here. And we're going to collect the stuff that's over yonder. I did not mean to kill you. That guy also gave me a life. In the original Spyro game, fodder could not give you lives. Only collecting things from enemies or from uh, those chest things. There we go, there's one of the two eggs here. Have we actually had a level of two eggs yet? Or is it only... Like this world that has levels with two eggs. How did I manage that? Also, we can't get back, so you fall down here and guess what? Fairies will save you. I really wish they would have updated this animation. This animation looks bad. Like, all honestly, like, all honesty, it looks bad. Oof. Alright, more gems. Thank you. Lots of big ones. And our final dragon already, Cedric the Entertainer. Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. It's funny because you need that to actually get over here, so I don't get why he says that. Like, I feel like a lot of the issues with Spyro games is the advice they give you is after you've already dealt with some of the, the, the like, challenges, you know? And, like, you don't even need to do gliding. You can literally just do it with the, the charge. Like, that's how easy it is to get over here, and that's all of the, uh... All of the supercharged stuff done. Outside from killing some of the bugs. Ugh. Excuse me, I was having a drink. So, before we do any of uh, the cave, we want to go over here, and then we want to go deal with that egg thief. So, let's grab these gems. And then I guess we can go and try and nuke this fool. Time to die, little fool. Actually, fools are another thing that are going to come up in this game. One thing I really liked about Spiral 1 versus like 2 and 3 was it really made it seem like those games, or this game was way more based on magic. Like, Spiral 3 kind of brings that back. But Spiral 2, it wasn't even in the Dragon Worlds. It was in a kingdom called Avalar. And... From what we know, it wasn't technically ever a dragon kingdom. Dragons didn't live there. And there we go. We killed most of the spiders. There are still more, but killing them with supercharge will be a little iffy. Also, I love how they have normal spider webs, despite them being made out of metal. You'd think they'd have like a 
like an iron spider web or something cool like that. Also, these spider games didn't have breakable walls, by the way, like, so you never had to look for anything like that. These random, like, gems just laying around are kind of funny. You can also still hear more spiders doing their creepy crawly thing. We do get another power up here that we get to investigate, but it's not really one that um, is. I think it's shown twice in this game and and only in two levels. Oh yeah, it's right over here. We have this fairy. So fairy's kiss will make it so your breath attack can actually destroy metal. So that includes spiders. And he'll drop the last gem. There we go. Problem solved. Wow. 15 minutes in and we already did another level. Yeah, I think we can actually do two more levels. Definitely the speedway, because that one's going to technically be next. Like I said, I was planning on doing them in order. Also, did I go completely backwards again? I guess actually what we'll do is we'll just exit level. Because getting back to the uh, exit portal on this level is a little annoying because I did things kind of out of order. But there we go. There is another 500 gems. 4,300. So we'll get to... I think this world you get to 5,500 gems once you beat it. Because we get 300 from the speedway. Which is crystal flight. Ooh, epic sounding. Also, remember how I said that these loading screens don't have a lot of personality compared to the original? This is what I mean. Like, does this look like it's going to a level called Crystal Flight? No. No, it does not. It looks pretty lame and tame, con considering. Alright, even though these rings are multicolored, guess what? And the picture up there is still the typical red one, even though there's only one red one. Like, this one I guess you can kind of consider red. The achievement here, you actually have to fly in those fairies. Kind of like the level before it, if you want the achievement, just, just so you know. But yeah, this is this level, because it's cool, right? Totally fun. I hate speedways in this game. Like, I don't mind them in Spyro 2, and I like them in Spyro 3. But I'm not a big fan of them, um, uh, you know, in this game. And some of them in Spyro 2, like Ocean Speedway and stuff, are kind of just boring. I don't find them very entertaining. Which is why they're not, like, top tier for me or, like, likes. But they have a few good ones. Like, Canyon Speedway, in my personal opinion, is super fun to play. I don't even know why, I just really like that one. Now, hopefully, I don't get too far away from that one plane that we had missed. All right, let's see if this if we can hit this plane before. It, uh... Oh, there he is. Yeah, oh, yeah, we we beat this in the first try. There we go. I don't even think that took two minutes. That uh, took a minute and twenty one. Yeah, the loading screen almost took just as long. So there's another three hundred gems added to our total collection. I know speedways don't go up in gems. They do in uh, I think Spiral three though. Alright, actually, I think we may be able to beat this entire world in this episode if things go right. So, let's do Wizard Peak, which is honestly a very interesting level. It's the home world to those blue wizards that we keep seeing. Plus, this one actually has a cool loading screen. This one actually looks like the world we're in. I should have grabbed um, some water on top of my Coca-Cola. Would have made recording way easier. Oh yeah, it summons these big chunguses. These guys are pretty scary. Except they looked more like regular Norks in Spyro 1, and then in this game, or like in the original Spyro 1. But in this game, they made them look more like they're ogres or something. I get Norks are supposed to be based off of orcs, but still, you know? There's a green gem there, and I didn't see it until I picked it up. That was... Fun. So yeah, you actually have to backtrack up here again after this, because you have to go one way and then you have to go another way. The music here is also pretty catchy. I don't know if it necessarily fits this level design, but it is pretty good. 
You can't deny that Spyro has good music, though. Like, it, it's good music. Oh, yeah, and one of the wizards will be right here. And there he goes. Boom. And then we'll have to go back to go, go around the other way. Because... Also, I see those gems over there. I didn't know you could see those gems from back there. In the original, you couldn't. Because they had, like, that... The, the distance limit with games. Most games do still. So that way things load in smoother and uh, the game doesn't get as choppy. But low distance... No, it's called draw distance. The draw distance is uh, better on these games than they used to be. Now, people are like... Oh, no fair. In this version of the game, they actually can hit you from like, different angles. But I, I seen this article, or like this video and post about um, how remakes are just like, or like remakes are just glorified pre uh They're just upscaled graphics and stuff. And I'm looking at going, they're not just upscaled graphics. Remakes actually add stuff. They're getting remake and remaster confused with each other, and that kind of annoys me because this is a remaster, not a remake, a remaster. Meaning they didn't change anything except for the graphics. A remake is something like Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire where they actually add stuff or change stuff. Anyways, we have our first dragon, Jarvis from Iron Man. Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. All right, Mr. Angel Wing Dragon. Oh yeah, 500 gems, three dragons, two eggs. I knew there was two eggs here. Also, is this blowhard that has a, a a skill point? Oh, I wanted to bash another wizard. Oh yeah, I took damage, so there's some health here. That's that's super useful. We'll grab this little guy. Come on, Sparks, come back to me, buddy. Yeah, this isn't at all kind of scary. Ooh, I like the, the pink gem there. Like, now that I'm playing it for a YouTube channel, I'm actually, like, paying attention to all the cool little surroundings. I don't think I ever noticed that pink purpley... Pink purpley? Pink reddish gem underneath there. Wizards. Oh, they're all dead. Didn't need the supercharge for them. I love how they mention needing the supercharge, but you don't really need the supercharge to kill them. They're just kind of there. Now, I do need this though for this. Thank you. I hear a thief over there. Nah, 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 nah. I didn't realize if you have a headset plugged in, like how? Oh, cool. Their homing attack got me. Like how far away can I actually hear the uh, thieves? That's it's a pretty pretty intense uh, distance, you know. Whoa, that was weird. That was uh, not at all how that was supposed to go. Wait, was this the way I already went? No, I already went this way. What am I doing? I need to go up there, but I need the other supercharge, I'm pretty sure, because it gives me more distance. Also, in the original, if you charged up a supercharge, it, you would also gain speed. In this version, you only get, get it going down, for whatever reason. Oh, we didn't gain enough speed. That sucks. That's because we didn't gain any momentum there, because I hit the wall. Oh yeah, now the wizards are back. You stupid wizards. There we go, we gained enough momentum. Oh yeah, there's a really weird thief location right here. And it's just kind of odd, because he's just kind of chilling around the corner. And he doesn't even run away. And that's it. That's just where he is. He's so loud, though, that it's super easy to hear him. It's just like... You'll notice he's there, you know? Oh man, these guys are just bogus sometimes. Man. Well, anyways, we got this dragon, which I believe just says thank you for releasing me. Hexus. Well done, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. Yeah, that's essentially all he said. Now this guy, you can kind of cheat. Wait, what? That... Okay. That logic makes no sense. In the original, you could cheese that. I don't know why you couldn't there, but... There we go, and that should say all eggs collected now. 
Yep. There, we have every egg in the entire game now. Like I said, it's kind of weird that they did it that way. Wait, how come he attacked that far away? That's confusing. Oh, this isn't... Oh, in the original... That guy wouldn't dodge. He'd actually get killed by... Oh yeah, and this is the wizard that summoned him. You can actually kill him early. And there we go, all 500 gems. And the last dragon, known as Lucas. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. Hmm. Interesting. Just kidding, we already did that. Thanks for the old info, buddy. We're out of here. 500 more gems. Yeah, 5,100. Yeah, so I believe the boss level is 400, so yeah, we'll be at 5,500. Wow. Right. On to the boss level, known as Blowhard. Yeah, terrible level name. I want the health, though. Thank you. Let's go to Blowhard. Normally I wouldn't do this many levels in one episode, but... Now we should be able to almost finish an entire world in every single video. I'm hoping. I am mass recording today. Um, we are going to be having a, a family dinner and stuff on Saturday and everything. So I want to just have a lot recorded. Plus I've been getting into Marvel Snap a lot lately. And it's been super cool. I like Because I found a deck that actually works. So I've been having a lot of fun doing other stuff. Plus I need to do stuff on World of Warcraft and everything. So just mass recording. Like I said, there's going to be 400 gems. There's only one dragon here. And we have to ride a druid platform for 10 seconds. I also really like the ambience of this level. Like, the whole dark, stormy... I really wish it was raining, though. I get that it's supposed to be based off of wind and not uh, rain, but adding rain here would have been super cool. I don't think it rains in any of the spiral levels except for one in Spiral 3. Because you're manipulating the weather there. I hear a druid. You can hear his row, row. But to get to him, this is blowhard. Yeah, you just have to flame him. That's that's it. He's not even difficult. So, the druid platforms they have to ride are just these. Just sit on it for 10 seconds. And there we go, we did it. That's how easy it is. And we unlock the art gallery. Which I'll probably show all that stuff off at the end of the episode, or end of the episode, end of the series. And we have our only dragon here, Altair. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in Crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. Man, I love this crystal ball, man. I love how, like, some of these dragons look super cool, and I really wish they would have kept that in Spyro 3. But for whatever reason... They didn't keep that in Spiral 3 with the baby dragons, because once again, just like Spiral 3, this game was actually uh, rushed because it had a deadline. It had This game had less than a year to be made, by the way. By the time you heard about it, it was literally when it had started development. And then it had literally come out, like, within a year. Which it was... It should have took longer than a year, which I don't mind it coming out when it did. Like, it, it, it's not a bad game, don't get me wrong. It does have some glitches and stuff, and Sprout 3 could have been done up a little better, but it's not terrible. This game has a lot of personality. But, and there we go. That's that level done. Literally took less than five minutes for this level. I knew we could fit it in here. There we go. Now we're at 5,500 gems. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, join the Discord and the Patreon in the links below. And in the next episode, Thank we will be going recovering so many to the dragon. next world. Up aboard for the Beast Maker's world if you're ready.